first of all, congratulations on your award. Just to sum up how the month was for you. Yeah, it was good. Obviously, we picked up uh, a few points along the way as well, which is obviously um, what we needed. Um, obviously, with the, with the goals was another bonus for myself. Yeah, a bonus for you, but I suppose you've got to thank the players around you as well for setting you up, don't you? Yeah, well, 100%. I think probably in the in the last probably year or two, my 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 own performance has probably hasn't been where it should be. Um, but um, as you said, I've got ten other players around me who, who I know that will give me the opportunity to score uh, to score a goal and give me chances, and that's what they've done. Um, obviously, I've, I've I've got the reward, but obviously down to the whole team for giving me the chances and um, and picking up the results that we have. You had that injury. Are you now back, fighting fit and ready for for the rest of the season to try and do what's needed to keep Kilmarnock up? Yeah, um, the injury uh, is cleared up. I think probably the game against uh, St Mirren probably came uh, too quick for me, but um, I've trained and I've obviously played against the, the Motherwell as well. So um, I'm, I'm fit and I'm obviously looking forward to the next, next two games. I suppose for you, Kyle, it's a case that sorry, Charles. I suppose for you, Kyle, it's the case that yeah, it's all good winning a, a, an award for the month. But I suppose your job's not done until Kilmarnock are safe. Yeah, that's what I said the last time I spoke to you guys. Well, obviously, I'm getting goals and getting ten goals. Obviously, delighted for myself, but they don't they don't matter. No one will remember me getting the ten goals or how many I get if we don't stay in the league. That's what I came here to, to do. Is the, the keep the team in the league and um, obviously we, we have two massive games coming up in a space of five days. What's the feeling heading into these two matches? I mean, it really is so cutthroat at the bottom of the table, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, I think first and foremost, we have to concentrate on ourselves. We can't let our minds go and concentrate on other teams that we will be playing and the results that obviously we need to, to happen. But Obviously, with a disappointing result in performance against Motherwell, um, we can't let that affect us because we have been playing well, we've been creating chances, and um, I think it's probably Motherwell game is probably the first game that we haven't scored in I think maybe eight or nine. So we just we'll take that with a pinch of salt and we look forward to the St Mirren game, and you know, I'm sure the lads that will will get picked will be ready to go. Can you relish a relegation battle when there is so much at stake? Can you try and enjoy anything like that? The mood's good. Um, I don't think it's affecting us training wise. Obviously, we, we, I think we all know that we shouldn't be down there. I think the, the squad of players that we have, we, we should be in a higher position than we are. But we're there for a reason. Things haven't worked out this season for us, and um, we are we're, we're ready to go to the battle for, for the last two games. Okay, what is it about the spring that makes you score crucial goals? Back in the midst of time, you, you made a habit of scoring title-winning goals for Rangers. Yeah, honestly, I don't know what it is. Um, a lot of people say that to me. Uh, but obviously, I, I get chances and I'm putting them away. And everything everything I'm touching them is going in. So um, hopefully the next two games, it'll, it'll continue. How different is the pressure of being relied on to score the goals to keep a club up compared to maybe being the man who needs to score a hat-trick on the final day to win a title? Um, to be honest, I absolutely love it. The more pressure that's on me, I uh, kind of thrive on it, to be honest. Um, I've done it for Northern Ireland, um, and I've done it, obviously, with clubs I came to. Um, Hearts is probably the one that stands out the most. That I was up there, everyone expected me to get the goals, and I ended up with the highest tally that I've I've had in a season. So, truthfully, the more pressure that's on me, I, I intend to produce. Do you feel that your experience over the years, as you've just touched on, is that going to be a, a massive boost to Killy in these final two games if it comes down to the crunch and if the pressure's on? I hope so. Um, obviously, I've, I've been in the game long enough uh, to what to expect, but there's a lot of senior players around me as well, experienced pros around me, and um, young players as well, which were eager to ride and um, press the manager in the last two games. So we've got a mixture there that hopefully if it all gels together, the next two games will will be celebrating the end of the season. Kyle, do you feel, uh, you talked about your experience there, but is there a weight of expectancy on you as 
you know, the guy that's come in with nine appearances and 10 goals to boot. Do you have that that weight of expectancy and how much, you said you relish the pressure, but does that really spur you on? It does, yeah. Um, the more pressure on me, as I said, the more I, I tend to produce. But I think, obviously, the managers brought me in to, to give the team a lift and get the results and score goals, which we, I've got the goals, the, the team's performances have picked up and the results have obviously picked up as well. We went, I think, six games without losing. So yeah, the results have been there, but unfortunately, other teams around us have been picking up points as well. So we leave ourselves in a, a situation that we, we now must go into the last two games picking up maximum points. And it's St Mirren and Hamilton that are left. How is the confidence and belief that you know you can go up against those two teams and take the, the six points on offer? Um, I haven't seen uh, St Mirren play the first time this season um, against other against us in the cup. Um, I knew they were a very good side and well organised, but the lads that went out put on a, a brilliant performance, and obviously we we down to errors in the team that we kind of lost the game um, in, in a terrible fashion. But I think we're, we're capable of going out to get a point against them and obviously leaves us with a massive game in the last day of the season. But <clears throat> I think we're all focused. We all know what it'll take. We had a disappointment. We're coming off a disappointing result against Motherwell, which we should have been, should have performed better at the, at how big the game was. But we have two games left, and if we we know that if we win them, we'll we'll be fine. And you're one point away from Ross County as well. Will you be keeping half an eye on them and what they do? We're trying not to. We're trying to focus on ourselves. Obviously, it's it's hard sometimes. Whenever you know, if you go out and win the two games, it might not be enough to to get out of the the bottom two. But we are. The manager's got us down to think and just think about us. It is what it is. We we go and win the two games, and we'll see how it is, and we'll we'll look at it at the end of the season. And if if it's a playoff, we'll we'll go into two games there, fighting for our lives, and obviously it's relegation. Then we've we've disappointed everyone uh, linked to Kilmarnock Football Club. Yeah. Okay, have you exceeded your own expectations in terms of your goal return so far? Uh, yeah, I have. I probably came in here, and obviously I hadn't played for. Or two months by the time I left, um, I picked up an injury in Italy. I didn't play. So I think the last game was the 19th of December, and I came here on the 12th of February. So, yeah, I came here on slightly unfit, but I hit the ground running and I got the goals. So, I was just scoring goals was obviously part of my job. But I was getting the chances as well. The lads have been, the players around me have been exceptional, exceptional as well, giving me the opportunity to get to get the chances to score and. I've, I've put them away. When you hear some players talk about relegation battles, you talk about doing it for the fans, for the people behind the scenes, you know, the admin people, kit men, stuff like that. Is that the main motive there for the, for the players going into these last two games? Obviously, getting relegated, you'll let everyone down. As you said, the fans, kit men that's been in the club, if even you look at the chefs and everyone, everyone that's linked to the club, but Obviously, you'd, for yourself, you don't want that in your CV. Um, you don't want a, a relegation on your on your on your CV. You want to obviously have promotions and trophies in your CV as well. But it'll be. I think everyone needs to realise that it, it'll look bad whether you're in your twenty or whether you're coming to the end of your career like myself. It's it's still a, a black mark if you want to call it that again on your CV. So I'm going to try my best, and I think. The senior players around me as well. They won't want a, a relegation in, on their CV as well. So um, we'll be going the. We know that we'll be going to war at the last two games and fighting for every single ball.